Oh, help me. Help me. Where is it? This one. In this video, I'm looking at the Fio and Jade Audio KA1 dongle DAC. Let's get it. What's cracking audio fans? It's David here from Prime Audio Reviews. So the Fio and Jade Audio KA1, in case you don't know, Jade Audio is a subsidiary of Fio or its little sister company. Uh, this is a dongle DAC. The price is is $49 but you know what I think starting on the 5th of May pretty sure that's the right date there is a sale on AliExpress where you can get this for about $35 that is insane and you'll find out why if you follow along so let me just create some space down here and um, let's talk about the KA1 so original price 49 possibly uh, soon during the sale $35 inside we've got a Saber ES9281AC Pro DAC chip that is essentially the same as the Hydis S3 Pro here which I believe is the 9821C and this is the AC uh, not sure what the difference is exactly but it's probably pretty small now, as you can see, it's got a fixed non-detachable cable. I guess that uh, cuts down the cost. On this end, you've got a 3.5 millimeter single-ended headphone out. And there is an LED on the front here that glows different colors depending on the current sample rate being played. Let me just fire that up for you. There you go. That's the LED right there. As you can see, it's a pretty small device compared to the KA3. Yeah, it's like less than it's less than half the size of the KA3. So I was really surprised when I saw how small it was. But you know the deal, pretty simple in terms of build. So let's talk about how it sounds. So the original price is $49. And like I said, I believe there's a sale where it might be as low as $35 coming soon. Pretty crazy. Okay, so the ES9281AC Pro DAC chip inside. This little guy supports up to 32-bit 384 kilohertz on PCM and native DSD256. Not only that, but it also supports MQA rendering. So if you are a title user or other whatever, if you listen to MQA music, there are very few budget options uh, that support MQA. The, the S9 Pro does, but this one is, let me check. It is $69. So it's significantly more expensive than this one. The KA1 here has a pretty modest 45 milliwatts of output power. So that is on the lower side. But I tell you what, I didn't try anything that it struggled with. Even the DT990 Pros, uh, not a problem at all. Actually, with these, I, I would rarely go above 50 or 60 out of 100 volume on the, on the laptop. So... Yeah, these numbers can be a bit deceiving in some cases. Of course, don't go buying one of these if you primarily use full-size headphones, especially planar magnetics and things such as that. But just for regular headphones, you know, Bayer Dynamics, your Meze 99 Classics, etc. This is more than enough power for those kind of things. And in-ear monitors or earphones, yeah, don't even worry about it. One thing that I should mention is be very careful the first time that you plug this into a device. And this is not exclusive to the KA1. It's the case with pretty much every dongle DAC. When you plug them in, especially to a Windows laptop or PC, the volume will default to maximum. So you can get a really nasty shock if you don't take care of that. Like... Yeah, bump down that volume before you have your first listen. You'll thank me later. All right, so yeah, with when I plug this into my laptop, it immediately rises, the sound immediately rises to a new level once this little guy is connected. No longer is there any hint of background noise or hiss coming through any of my sensitive IEMs. 
The KA1 has a neutral, detailed presentation. It doesn't color the sound, but is transparent, much like its bigger sibling, the KA3. It might not have quite the level of refinement of its uh, bigger brother or sister, but it is way better than my laptop's built-in sound card. The bass extension is good and reaches deep into bone-shaking territory with the right headphones, of course. Things sound punchier and clearer, which is good not only for the bass, but a cleaner bass also opens up the mid-range more as well. So you get, it's an enveloping effect. It's not just confined to one specific area. The KA1 shows impressive spacing in music. It's got a nice dark background. It's got no background noise or hiss. Instruments have got plenty of room to breathe. Kick drums sound full bodied. The leading edges bristle with a crisp slam. Electric guitars grind and hi-hats are sweet. And that again will depend on your earphones, of course. But as far as the KA1 goes, yeah, fairly neutral, nice, clean, transparent, airy sound, good detail. Uh, the sound stage has nice depth to it. Not as it's not as refined as the KA3 or, or other more sort of higher tier dongle DAX, but certainly for the price, you can't really complain. This little thing, this little thing sounds absolutely great. And like I mentioned before, if you are into MQA, you know, you only have to spend $35 to $49 to get that. And uh, th this is a pretty impressive little device. Thanks for watching. Um, what do you guys think about the Fio KA1? Are you interested? I think it looks dope, man. Like, I would actually prefer to carry this than the KA3. I just don't like big things dangling off my phone so i'd actually prefer to take this with me if i was going out for the day but anyway let's wrap it up thanks for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up parfam audio file style if you're new to the channel and you want to see more stuff like this in the future make sure you hit that subscribe button and until next time see you later